yes, thank you all for being here. Thank you, Mr. Austin, for being here as well and the folks that you have brought with you. My name is Nana Jumpy. I'm an attorney. I am a movement attorney, co-founder of Justice Warriors for Black Lives, and a board member for Black Alliance for Just Immigration. I am very honored to be able to give the UN a front row seat to the Jim Crow conditions in the colored section of the criminal justice system. I call it a criminal sanction system, but we know that it is a criminal justice system for white Angelinos who receive all the benefits of the lofty goals of the Constitution and the law. Things like innocent until proven guilty, having your day in court, having a jury of your peers. So Ed Buck, a wealthy white, Democratic donor can have young black man Jamel Moore found dead in his home mm -hmm. and the sheriff show up and say nothing to see here mm -hmm. he has yet to be arrested this happened in July of this year or Cameron Terrell the white rolling 90s crip who decided to participate allegedly in the murder of someone and the attempted murder of two other people is home for the holidays while my client Mark Alford just beat a death penalty case in which he was falsely accused of murder, spent three years in jail, and while his family was celebrating right before Thanksgiving, he turned to me in the midst of all that joy and said, Sister Nana, I can't stop hearing jail doors. Mm, mm, mm. This is the dual system of justice that we deal with, and so we don't call it a criminal justice system. We call it a criminal sanction system. We call it a criminal enslavement system, That's a criminal right. extortion system, and a criminal displacement system. Right. We're talking about a criminal extortion and enslavement system that uses the courts to steal black money, black property, black labor, and black lives, especially black impoverished people. We are the ones who are standing in lines that run around every traffic court in this county where we are robbed of three to four times the dollar amount of ticket ranging from $100 to $1,800 and then pay for lucky $65 to $80 so that we can clean the streets, so that we can clean graffiti, so that we can clean the beach for nothing as common chain gangs for the state. Or if we're less fortunate, we are in prison and there we are forced to work on behalf of the state and corporations. That's it. We are the ones who suffer the criminal displacement system. When rich white explorers discover black neighborhoods that they want to settle, the criminal displacement system paves the way for the massive internal displacement of black people that is destroying our communities and tearing our culture in Los Angeles. Our neighborhoods are flooded with law enforcement agents. They descend on us by bike, by car, by helicopter, sometimes tanks and horses, looking for residents to harass, to intimidate, to arrest, to assault, to maim, to imprison, and to kill. Death by gentrification is real in Los Angeles. Okay. The displacing actions of law enforcement work hand in hand with the displacing actions of prosecutors who force property owners to evict people from their homes or risk having their buildings condemn themselves. Folks are not homeless because they want to be homeless. Folks are homeless because they aren't getting housing. Right. And the criminal court system is a part of that push. Black immigrants are not immune from the reach of the criminal system. I've described when we speak of immigrants in Los Angeles, we generally speak of non-black immigrants, but black immigrants find ourselves in the crosshairs of this criminal sanctioned system because whether we call ourselves black or not, we're black once we get to the United States. Okay. Yes. And blackness in this country, in this city, is criminalized, it's weaponized and penalized. Living while black can and does lead to deportation proceedings for black immigrants, even when they don't result in criminal prosecution. Black folks are deported and go through proceedings like criminal proceedings that involve penalization, enslavement, extortion, and displacement. And so we find ourselves ensnared in a system that flings us from criminal cages to deportation cages without our ability to defend ourselves. We are extorted by bail. We are extorted by plea bargaining. Human rights are denied. And we are hoping that the UN will do something about it. All right. All right.